If you've been following my channel for a little while, you'll know that books are my bag. And in fact, I have published three books, which is pretty cool. The first one was a non-fiction, and this is Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter, written by this absolute beauty here. That's me, I wrote this. Um, and this is a self-help guide, basically a lifestyle uh, guide with 18 different topics touched on from bonding with baby to online safety to how to behave at parties, all that kind of stuff. It's beautifully glossy and well designed and all that sort of stuff. Um, and this was a hit. It was a number one bestseller and I love it dearly. In fact, I keep this one on my mantelpiece. A little bit awkward though. I actually signed this copy for myself. Um, so when people see that, they kind of laugh at me. Um, I also last year brought out a diary, not a diary like a dear diary today, I went to the shops and stroked a stray cat, which is my life, um, but a diary for you to write your own um, appointments and organise your life in basically like Monday to Sunday. And on each two page spread, there is something from me um, for you to do or be motivated by or be involved in. And since so many of you loved this last year, we brought out another one um this is like i said on instagram a while ago if these were pokemon this would be the evolved version little pokey joke for you there anyone playing pokemon i've got distracted with pokemon it's beautiful it's glossy and gorgeous and much like um the 2016 one it's it's like a write your stuff on one side and then there's a thing from me on the other side and what's cool about this is it's available now to buy on amazon if you would like to um, I will link it below for you. It's also in lots of shops. I know for sure it's in Sainsbury's because I've bought one from there. Um, but it's in lots of other places too, uh, WH Smith. So do check that out. Don't wait till Christmas thinking, oh, I'll wait because it starts in January because it might be gone by then because it's, it's a thing. They obviously only make so many of the thing and I want you to have it. But something that I haven't ever tried my hand at is fiction. Um, and I have a super, super vivid imagination, as you might know, and I love to tell stories. So team that with my love of writing, and it's a no-brainer. I'm writing a fiction book, and it is coming out summer next year, and I am super, super excited for it. I can't really tell you too much about the book at the moment, hashtag spoilers, but I didn't want to make a video just being like, oh guys, I'm writing a book, pre-order my book, um, because that seems a little bit vapid and empty. So I thought what I would do is tell you a little bit about our beautiful hero, our main character, Robin Wilde. I've written some notes on exactly how I wanted to introduce you to Robin. I think I'm just going to read to you how I've written this because this just perfectly sums up um, Robin, our beautiful, our beautiful main girl. So I'll read it out to you. Um, it's hard for me to not tell you more because to me she's real. Um, I mean, she's not, she's a fictional character in my head, but I love her so dearly that I could make a whole video just telling you all about Robin. So to make sure that I don't stray, I'm going to just read my little note here that I've put for you. So, Robin Wilde is a 29 year old single mum. She works part time as a makeup artist assistant and lives with her little girl, Lila. She's doing her best, but life is a struggle. And I think that's something definitely we can all relate to, I know I can. Robin is smart and funny and she's also really courageous. She doesn't often, I'm going off my notes, she doesn't often feel courageous, but when you look at the way she behaves and what she does and what she accomplishes, we know as a reader that she is a brave woman. Robin and Lila love each other so, so much, a topic which is deeply explored in the book. The realities of being a single mother are also explored and how that impacts on friendships and careers and dating. Sometimes we have like really funny outcomes, but sometimes... Um, in moments that are just super deeply touching and ones that I think um, emotionally run deep, I guess. I don't really want to give any of the plot away, although I do want to because I, I freaking love it. I do want to, but I'm not going to. Um, but know that this is a feel-good book. There are twists and turns, a couple of big surprises, um, but ultimately it's a feel-good book for badass women like me, who's, you know, I wanted to say written by a badass woman for badass women, but that just sounds really cheesy, but that's what it is. It's a chance for you to lose yourself in something for a little while under a fluffy blanket or in a hot bubble bath, and when I write it, I'm writing it 
as if I'm talking to uh, like my personal friends. So hopefully it will feel like I'm talking uh, to you and you'll enjoy that sense of it. I'm still playing with the title. For the moment I'm calling it Wild because obviously Robin Wild. It's Wild with an E by the way, W-I-L-D-E. I thought that was a super cool surname. Um, but there might be some changes and I'll definitely update you on those along the way. But at the moment you could say, I'm going wild for wild, lols. Oh, I couldn't not say it, it was too easy, it was too good. Oh yes, I should probably say, this book is not an autobiography, obviously it's a fiction, uh, but I realised as I was saying, uh, Robin is a single mum, she has a little girl, uh, she's doing her best, but life can be a struggle. Um, that does sound like me. I want to be clear, it's not me. I'm not writing my own personal experiences. I'm writing I'm writing it as if she's my best friend and I fully know her. And obviously you write about what you understand and what you know, and this is a world I understand and know. Um, but I don't, I thought about writing a book based on my own life, but with this, I have a lot more freedom to just go crazy and change things and, um, like just make a brand new story about a brand new person. But we, to, I know I've said it already, but to me, Robin does feel real. She feels like my BFF and I want her to succeed the same way. Like you want your sister to do amazingly well, or you want your best friend to get that promotion or get that guy or get whatever it is she wants. That's how I feel about Robin. So if you follow my second channel, Sprinkle of Chatter, which is my like, follow me around, vlogs of my day kind of thing. It's gonna be really homey over the next few months because it takes a lot of time to write a book and I'm gonna be doing it at home. So if you like homey vlogs, then you're gonna like it. If you like crazy day out adventure vlogs, um, then they'll be coming next year. So don't unsubscribe, please. I'm an oversharer, so I will be sharing all of this on social media with the hashtag Robin Wild, should be here right now. Um, if that changes in the future, don't worry, I'll let you know. I'll be talking about it on my channels and Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook just because it's exciting for me to be in this project and to be immersed in it. Um, I've been thinking about it for so long, so to be actually in it feels really, really great and I want you to be in it with me, I guess, because I feel like we do things together. It's available now for pre-order. Um, I will link that below. That means when it comes out, it gets sent to you and you get to have it and enjoy it. Um, and I would really, really love your support um, by ordering it because it's exciting. It's super exciting in publishing world, which is a world that I'm not new to, but I am new to fiction publishing world. Um, and this like first week of being like, it's here and then um, having pre-orders and having comments and having a little bit of feedback about hearing if you're excited. Um, that's like a really big moment on this journey for me. So I would really value your support, not just like, oh, just buy my book, but like it's a nod of support and it's like important to me. So a preemptive thank you for those that do pre-order. Links are below to that and the other books as well. Um, and I hope that you're as excited for Robin as I am. I'm so excited to have shared her a little bit with you um, because it's just been me and her all this time. So now it's me, her and you guys. Um, and I look forward to sharing more of her with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.